Hey, everybody, it is Thursday night. Time for another episode of How To with me, Jason Thrifts. All right, uh, in case you didn't see my little tease earlier, I am in my Eastern office, which is in Phoenix. I'm sitting in the middle of my living room uh, here where uh, my wife lives uh, most of the time because <laughs> she works in Phoenix. So uh, I don't have a fancy microphone. I don't have a fancy camera yet, but I will be living here uh, about half the time this summer. So uh, stay tuned. So if it's a little echoey and or if it gets a little peggy internet, it's because we don't have the fastest internet here, but we might up it at some point. Ha, what's going on everybody? Tonight we are talking about how to get started on your flipping CDs journey. I'm going to give you the quick version of mine because you all don't need to start the way I started. The way I started was I got fired from a job that I loved. And this was March of 2000. So 22 years ago. And Stacy and I uh, were uh, just moved to a new house. And I didn't really have any other skills except for working in the music biz. And I thought, how are we going to pay our mortgage? And so like one does when they are depressed, a little retail therapy helps everything. And so I went to a record store, not the one I got fired from, uh, and they had a table of $1 CDs. And this is 2000, you know, uh, online selling was in its infancy. And I'm like, oh, these CDs had to be worth more than a dollar. So I plunked down 20 bucks. I cherry picked the best 20 that I thought. And I went home and I sat down and on dial up, I always forget that part of the story on dial up. I taught myself how to sell online. And back then it was just eBay. There was no other options. It, you know, I moved to Amazon as, as that came around then to Discogs, but it was all eBay. And within two months, I was shipping anywhere from 350 to 500 CDs a month, not dollar amount CDs. So on average, I was selling 10 CDs a day, every single day. So, I have been around this game a long time, and I got a lot to share, and that's the one thing. You know, there are plenty of other YouTube uh, e-commerce people out there, plenty of other uh, coaches, instructors, but not everyone loves to share as much as me. I will share my numbers with you. I will share my IDs with you. I don't hide anything. Uh, and more importantly, the best part, as I share my knowledge with you, because I don't see it as I am turning uh, Tracy and Lisa and Linda and Brian into my competition. I am just educating people how to add to their bottom line. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing that people say, oh, I, I don't want to teach other people. There are more CDs than I'll ever get to. There are more customers than I'll ever get to. And I do just fine. So if I do just fine, why not educate others and let them do just fine? Like whatever you sell online, you're probably doing good at it. You've got your specialty. Most people's specialty is not music like mine is. So I want to educate you on my specialty so you can add that to your specialty. Because when you're in a thrift store, there's always a CD section and records and cassettes. But we are focused on CDs right now. Oh, thanks, Hagen. Awesome. <clears throat> hey, it's my boy, Caleb. One of my buddies here in Phoenix. Oh, thanks, Dale. All right. So tonight is just a little bit about getting you excited about signing up. So if you haven't signed up yet, uh, where's my banner? You're going to want to sign up at thriftingclass.com. And it is two weeks from right now. So if you're watching live, it's May 12th, two weeks from right now. And I'll actually be back here in my Eastern office in Phoenix. Uh, we'll be having the class. So let me get you excited uh, about that class. There we go. Thriftingclass.com. Okay. So I've been doing these 30 days of, oops, yep. Kick-ass CD flips. And so let's talk about them real quick. And then I'm going to show you a couple of things I sourced. And then I'm off to a concert. So I love music all the way around. All right, Phantasm soundtrack. When I shared this uh, back 10 days ago or so, 
many of you were like, oh my God, I am scarred for life from that, from that movie. Uh, yeah, it's pretty frightening. Awesome movie. As you can see, I spent $40 on the soundtrack and sold it for $140. Now, everything I saw, so you don't get to add just $100 to it. I wish it was that way, but uh, no. But uh, that was a nice, and that was a pretty quick flip too. All right, number two. I sourced it for 75 cents and sold it for $120, so pretty close. This is Rock Set Dress for Success, the lesser of the two Rock Set hits off of this album. But what was rare about this is it's a promo with a mix on it that you can't find that specific mix anywhere else. So when you're a collector of a band and your favorite band, mine, Spice Girls, or BC Boys, or Prince, and I see a CD or something with a mix I have never heard, I want it. You know, most of us who collect music or favorite bands will do that. So this was a promo CD single I picked up for 75 cents. Boom, $120. All right, so this is, oops, I meant to put me over here. Let's do it this way so you can see a little better. Uh, this is Queensryche. Uh, now this looks like a CD, sounds like a CD to a degree spins like a cd but it will not play in your cd player this is a very special type of music uh, a platform called dvd audio it's actually they take a, a popular normal album and they remix it for 5.1 surround sound so you pop it in your seat your dvd player and it envelops you in sound so i picked this up and this less the lesson on this day was i bought this for nine dollars at an antique mall in montana and I sold it for $100 uh, on Amazon. So uh, I look for other things than just CDs. Okay, back to uh, promo singles. This is Janet Jackson promo, That's the Way Love Goes. There was like six or seven different mixes on it. That's another one I bought for 75 cents and sold for $100. But the lesson here is when you price it right, when you bring something rare to the table, it can move quick. I listed this on August 29th at 4.48 p.m. It sold on August 30th at 8.56 a.m. So about uh, 18 hours it was listed. That's it. So boom, you can turn things into 100 bucks just like that. All right, how about uh, the soundtracks to video games? And sometimes it's the music from the video game. And sometimes it's the bleeps and the blurps. That's what you're listening to. Now, I'm not much of a gamer. Played video games since I was a kid, though. Uh, I don't know how stoned you have to be to listen to the bleeps and the blurps. It's got to be amazing. Okay, so speaking of things I don't really know about, I am not an anime fan. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Just I don't watch any anime. I know what it is, and I had no clue when I picked up this $4 CD if Slayer's Next was the title of the anime or Sound Bible I was the title of the anime. Like, I had no, no clue. But what I do know is I know how to use my phone as the ultimate tool in the field to figure out what is in front of me and then what the actual worth is. And that's the kind of things I teach. I knew... Buying this for four bucks, I would do quite well, and I sold it for fifty dollars. Now, since then, I've done a little research, and I, and I kind of know what it is. Slayers was a TV show, and then Slayers Next was the the continuation of it. All right, so this was a Monday morning of shipments, uh, CDs that we sold over the weekend. So I want you to pay close attention to the Terminator because you'll see him in again in a second. But the two things I really want to point out here. Uh, Bruce Willis, are you aware Bruce Willis has multiple, multiple music releases on CD and vinyl? And this Return of Bruno, uh, I bought it uh, still sealed from 90 whatever or 89 uh, for four bucks and sold it for $50. We're going to get back to the Terminator in a second. But the Halloween uh, soundtrack, uh, I had a little fun with. I bought it for 20 bucks and I sold it for, you got it, $66.66. So anytime you can use your numbers to have fun with your selling your item, uh, 
it'll make a customer smile and laugh and they'll go grab it. All right, day eight was letting everyone know about the details of my flipping CDs class. We'll talk about that in a quick sec. And then uh, this was yesterday, and I just love the journey of things. Since that day, 22 years ago, I taught myself how to sell internationally because I realized right away no one else was selling internationally, and I want to make sure that I grabbed every single customer possible. And to this day, I'm still trying to educate people into shipping internationally, and there's still so many people going, nope, lower 48 only. Think about this. You are in business college and you say to your professor, all right, my business model is I'm going to ignore about 7 billion potential customers and I'm only going to focus on 300 million customers. What? I'm only, I'm, I'm opening up this restaurant. I'm only going to sell to people in the zip code the restaurant's in. Screw the rest of the zip codes. That's essentially what you're saying. So this CD was a live Bauhaus uh, concert in New York City. I bought the CD in California. I then drove it back to Nevada where I sold it to a customer in France. So talk about it's a small world after all. Absolutely. And then today's, today's the one that got everyone talking. You know, I thought all these were good ones, but today, and if you don't know, if you're a youngster, this woman, Sherry Lewis, made a career, a career out of talking to a sock puppet on her hand now she's a ventriloquist and ventriloquism doesn't really transfer to a cd a ventrilo ventriloquism is a art you need to see because the whole point is how good does the ventriloquist not move their mouth that's the whole point of ventriloquism and so to have it on cd it's pointless but i guess not since i only paid three dollars three and sold it for one hundred and fifty dollars so yeah, people were talking today. They're like, oh, they were reminiscent about Sherry Lewis. Unbelievable. So I'm glad I shared that one today. But I hope that gets you excited. You can walk in. This was from a record store here in Phoenix. You can walk into a record store, buy a $3 UCD, take it home, put it online, and sell it for $150. Does that not get you excited? Because if it doesn't, you need to check your pulse. You need to check your balls. All right. So my free class is two weeks from tonight. Thriftingclass.com will get you signed up. Now, here are the, uh, oops, there we go. Here are the five topics that we're going to go over that night. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. For those of you who've taken my classes in the past, I would still sign up. You might get a refresher in something that you totally forgot to do that you don't remember me ever talking about. <clears throat> and so let's uh, get you tuned up. Now, those of you who are new to this, and there's tons of you who've been watching me share my CD solds and you're not sure where to start. Here's what we're talking about. A, tested and true tips and tricks on how to source CDs to flip. Uh, then organizing the tools to use in the field to research which CDs to source, i.e. how to use your phone. Uh, selecting the places to find CDs to flip beyond the norm. We all know garage sales. We all know thrift stores and we all know record stores. There are other places. Uh, comparing and con contrasting the online sites to sell your CDs. Let me tell you, the customers aren't on all of them. So if you have a CD and it's worth 20 on one platform, 50 on another and 100 on another, if you can listen on the platform where it's 100, do it. And then, and then the most important part, especially for new people, how to ship CDs. It's not hard, uh, but you definitely want to make sure you jump off doing it the right way. Okay, so here's what we're going to end on is some stuff I sourced uh, in the last couple of weeks that I'm about to list. And I'm going to blow your mind. All right. So, Elizabeth, this is the class that's made for you. Because, look, I walked into a record store and found these. What am I going to share with you guys? Seven CDs. Seven CDs that could have been waiting for you if you were in the right place at the right time. We all know Prince. And this is a uh, CD single of uh, the song Kiss, Girls and Boys, Under the Cherry Moon. Now, I paid 10 bucks. I'm trying to get the glare off as much as possible. Uh, and this is a $25 CD single. 
Not a huge profit margin, but I know $10 was way underpriced. Uh, no one is hopeless, Elizabeth. And I'm not saying my mom is hopeless, but my, I, my mom finally it clicked. It finally clicked. I made her scan with me in a CD store. And she had done okay with CDs, but now she absolutely gets it. Absolutely. All right. Whose favorite band is this? Jeez. Uh, Satan's Rejects. Demented Argo. Now, this is the kind of stuff I love to listen to. Uh, rockabilly, psychobilly, uh, surf punk, that kind of thing. So I actually picked this up to listen to, but I only paid seven bucks. It's a $40 CD. So even the things I'm picking up to maybe keep, if I don't want to end up keeping them, I'm going to make money on them. Okay, remember when I said, keep your eye on the Terminator? I love when I sell something, and then two days later, I find the exact same thing again. All right, paid 19 bucks. That one I shared with you like four slides ago, sold for $65. So once you, uh, once you sell it once, it's burned into your brain. So when you see a $65 CD for $19, you know you should pick it up. Okay, parents. Parents who have named their children, which would be all of you. Did you think about the name and how maybe it doesn't sound good together? Because I don't, it, this, is, this is a person probably born 100 years ago. However, 100 years ago, a dick was the same thing as a dick is today. And a hymen was the same thing as a hymen is today. Why would you name your kid Dick Hymen? I mean, did he just get beat up every day on the playground? Come on now. Now, speaking of music I like, I do like Dick Hyman, which sounds way dirtier than it is. He makes space age exotica music, kind of stuff you listen to in your home tiki bar. And so uh, uh, I love this CD and I think I already had it, but I paid $12 and it will sell for around 60 bucks. Yes, they had to have hated their kid, Angelique, because those words aren't like new words for our lower regions i mean just what what i mean you're stuck with hyman why well, call him dick all right okay where's my music nerds boom this is the far corporation they're one hit wonders what's their one hit let's see if anyone knows let me get this uh, shine off i'll just take the booklet out the far corporation division one and the guy that put this band together, his other claim to fame is he put Millie Vanilli together. What is their one hit? And here's the odd thing. Their one hit is not even their song. Their only hit is not even their song. So, does, uh, uh, so this was 80s, by the way. Uh, 19, where is it? It would be nice to have the year on the back of the CD. 85. All right, 85. So apparently, no one knows. Okay, so Far Corporation's only hit was a cover of Stairway to Heaven. And here's your music trivia. Amaze your friends. This is the only Stairway to Heaven that has ever charted. Because why? Led Zeppelin never released it. One of the most popular songs of all time was never released as a single. And so the only person to ever chart was Stairway to Heaven, Far Side Corp, uh, Far Corp, Far Corporation. There you go. Dumb music trivia. All right. I'm going to end on these two. And this is where I hope to get your juices so flowing and so excited that you, if you haven't signed up yet, you sign up now. Boom. There we go. Okay. I mean, I'm going to hide the price for a second. How many have seen A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey? Any of you have the soundtrack? All right, want to see what I spent on said soundtrack? Now, don't forget, you got to make money. But I have no problem spending money to make more money. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I paid $90. That is $10 less than $100. $90.00 for Jim Carrey's Christmas Carol soundtrack. And I will sell it for anywhere from $250 to $300. So if you have that soundtrack, then you are sitting on money, at least now. Mine is sealed, so I will get a bigger bump than a used one, but... 
Use will get some money too. Yes, I forget to say it. Do you believe yet? Now, this is the last one. This is the one where my musical knowledge really came in handy because this is a CD I see in a glass display case and I have never, I didn't know of its existence. And I quickly and readily paid $80 for it. Now, and on this music trivia, ladies and gentlemen, who is Linda Perry? Man, there we go. There is no glare. Who? Why spend that much on a CD? Because I, I'm i going to hope you asked that before I said it's worth $300. <laughs> I, I hope you wrote that before I said that because that's why. <laughs> okay. Uh, Red Ready. Very good. Linda Perry's the lead singer of Four Non Blondes. What else is she famous for? So uh, good job, everybody. Four Non Blondes. Uh, but what else is she famous for besides being the lead singer of Four Non Blondes? She was not married to the girl from Little House on the Prairie. She was married to the daughter from Roseanne. But I think they're sisters or cousins. Yes, not the Little House on the Prairie, Roseanne. Katy Perry's, oh boy, Pedro, leaving us hanging. Katy Perry's what? Uh, okay, yep, that's it. She is one of the top songwriters in the music biz. Wrote a lot of songs for Pink plus other artists. Now, $80. I've never seen the CD. And here's what's amazing about this CD. There is hidden tracks galore. And they're so crazy the way they're hidden. You have to have instructions on how to get to the hidden tracks. You got to go to track 12. You got to let it play for three seconds. And then you got to back it up 33 seconds. It's nuts. But I love mysteries like that. But check this out. It's sealed. No one has ever, ever sold a sealed one. And so this $80, I think, could be $400, give or take, give or take. So I don't mind spending 80. I don't mind spending, I mean, look at this, $170 in just two CDs. But this is like $700 I'm holding right here. Who, who would like an extra seven? hundred dollars i mean that's a that's a car payment of a nice car in just two cds so that's what i'm going to teach you two weeks from tonight intro to flipping cds you you those of you who've been around the block sign up anyway come on in i'll refresh some things for you those of you who are new to it get in here because it's going to be a great class and i'm going to teach you why you should not be afraid of 90 dollars cds all right so there we go. That is what I got to share with you tonight. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Go to the thriftingclass.com. Get signed up. We'll see you at that class in two weeks. And do me a favor. Share that link. Put it on your social media. Put it on your Facebook and say, hey, to your friends and family, uh, you want to make a little extra money? Learn how. It's free. Come join us. All right? Mom is registered. You better be, Mom. Sheesh. All right. With that, I'm off to Coldplay with my wife and some friends. So... Uh, I've been a music junkie my whole life and it hasn't ended since my uncle took me, took me to my first concert in 1980. And here we are in 2022 and I'm still going to a shit ton of concerts. So with that, I am out of here. Thank you very much, everybody. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye everybody. Bye.